by Westphere and I'm here with the boy with tape on his face who luckily has no tape on his face so we can have a nice little chat. How are you doing? I'm doing very well So you're back at the fringe again, what makes you keep coming back? Uh, the weather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I like the fringe a lot. I've got a lot of good memories and good times at the fringe. It's a good festival. It's, like it's a chance to good audiences come out and it's just fun. So how has your show developed from last year? It hasn't. It is exactly 100% the same as last mm -hmm. year. It's a return season, so it is, there's nothing new in it. So everyone who saw it last year, they come along and see exactly the same show. Uh, the reason we'll come back is because last year we turned away so many people that we used to be used to call that we might as well get everyone to see it completely. So also because I'm writing some new show for the following years, I wanted to overload this show as much as possible. So everyone can see it. The last chance, get involved, people say that thank you, there's no more, there's more time. Are you expecting a lot of people who've seen it last year to come and see it again? Well, you kind of do get a, a quite a repeat audience anyway, because people tend to bring their friends along saying, you know, I've seen this, I know what you're going to get involved in, and, and they, they kind of want to share it. I remember in Melbourne, I did the comedy festival over there, and we had one guy see the show nine times with wow. uh, a different family in the every night. <laughs> Sweet, big family. Yeah, <laughs> no, I was hoping about there's a really huge family in Edinburgh, as they can <laughs> bring every cousin and auntie and uncle they know. So um, you do a lot of audience participation in your show. Has anything ever gone awry with an audience member? Have they not really got it? Or? Um, I'm, I'm pretty lucky in the sense that I, I, I trust my audience enough to do simple jobs. Like I've never seen them a major task of you know, solve a Rubik's Cube or, or, or do some long, long division. Uh, my tasks involve only standing on a chair or <laughs> some very, very simple things, throw something at the right time. And, and so that way I want them to succeed. I also don't want people to be intimidated when they come to the show that I'm going to not be able to do it. I think any job that I see for someone today, they will be able to do it. And then they get their own applause and then they're involved and they're popped out. So they're usually quite happy to play a lot. Yeah, most people are happy. And the thing is, I'm, I'm not, I don't, really, I don't want to feel as if I'm pressure to come up and say, you can say no if you want to, and I will move on to someone else. So the last thing I want to say is something that doesn't want to be there. I don't want people to have fun. Yeah. So you're in kind of a unique act. Um, would you be able to cite any inspirations or influences? Um, my inspirations and influences would probably go back to my further career, my old career as the talking carny circus sideshow stuff. I was involved in this shows like the Chuck Norris Circus Sideshow, Tokyo Shop Boys, and these were people doing routines where they would be eating light bulbs, having nails on nose, and doing a bunch of politics. And then from that is what made me develop this show because it's the complete opposite of that style. Yeah. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. It does. Um, so you put tape on your face every day. Yes. How do you get it off without ripping off the skin while you're not having I'm lucky enough that I uh, you can tell I'm on holiday because I stopped shaving. Uh, so I, I, I have to shave every single day to make sure the tape is clearly stuck. And people think I use very light tape because uh, that way I won't stick too much. But I have a really industrial gap that I do this because I want it to stay on. But, um, I, I hurt myself for the audience to entertain. No, and it doesn't hurt when I tape it off. Uh, I think if, I'm, if, it, would it, if it hurt, I would have stopped doing it in 2005. What would you have replaced it with for taking work? Uh, a hat. The man, <laughs> the man the boy, the, the boy with a hat on his face. The boy wearing a hat is not a very good shot. It's not quite as catchy. Maybe that could be the sequel for next year. It could be, it's the, it'll be the franchise and stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> All these weird objects yeah, on your face. Yeah. The boy with a cat on his face. Um, what are your plans for next year? Um, I. Um, well, the only reason this show exists is because uh, I have audience audiences expecting me to do one thing. So I think I'm better off not telling people and then they can just see and I can keep them surprised. Okay, well thank you so much for coming and talking to me. Um, where can we catch your show? Uh, you can catch the show back here in exactly the same spot. I'll be at Princess Grain at 9.14 pretty much for the whole month except for Monday the 12th and Tuesday. Right, okay, thank you so much. I've been in Jim Walker TV.